When did you say this face came out now? Uh, it came out 2018. Uh, but it's an old face, isn't it? Uh, it's not an old face. There was a green face, but it wasn't this kind of green. It was just plain Rolex green. It's a degrade green. Uh, what, what green? Uh, this is a degrade. Degrade? Yes. What's that mean? Like you see the from the uh, sides, it's darker, but yeah. a little bit lighter. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Ah! <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, listen, it's a difficult one because Ngannou's fighting Steve Bell, yeah? So forget about title fights anytime soon. There's a fight there, Derek Lewis and Curtis Blades. Of course, Volkov has fought both of these people. And if you're a guy like Volkov or a fighter, you want to get revenge back. So the one I'm talking about is Derek Lewis. That was a fight that he was dominating, yes. but Derek Lewis turned on the pressure in the third round, right at the end, caught him with that knockout blow. If I'm Volkov, I want Derek Lewis to win that match against Curtis Blades. Not going to be easy, <laughs> but if he does that, then I would say I want to fight uh, the Beast So, so are you hinting that Volkov does not want a rematch against Blades? No, that's not what I'm saying. But we just, <laughs> we, no, no, we just saw that well, recently. Stylistically, it's stylistically. It's, 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 they don't want to see it's it again. It's a better fight. I called that fight a few Two months ago. Guys. I don't want to do it again. It's, we've been there. We've <laughs> done it. A lot it. of takedowns. Yes, we need some more time. Yeah. Also, we've got Cyril Garne taking on Jarzinho Rosenstreich. Mm -hmm. That would be a sensational fight as well. And that would play into the style of Volkov because he's a strong Striker. They're both strikers, so that would be a, you know, a striker's delight. And all of that stuff, and it never works. His blades out wrestling him. Look at what Volkov just gave us. A beautiful yeah. performance. I want to see him. Of course, it's mixed martial arts. It's up to him to stop the takedowns. But let's put him in there with another striker. Let's see what the man can do.
So reflecting post-fight on the co-main and the main event, obviously I was speechless watching uh, that knee land just because, you know, you don't, when you're there live and you see the person hurt, you almost don't want to celebrate until you know that the person is okay. And it was such a crazy time knee that it landed perfectly. My uh, hat, hat goes off. You have to take your hat off to that timing and the way that San Higgins moved him side to side and then set up that jump knee, lined him up perfect with it beautiful beautiful execution and that's how you get yourself a title shot not gonna lie beautiful performance by San Hagen uh, as for the main event Volkov I mean it was cool to finally see his stand up on full display there's not a lot of matchups that we've seen with Volkov where he can just stand up and kickbox the whole fight but facing over him he didn't have the same thought in his head of double leg double leg and people trying to put him on his back so he could use any punch or kick choice he wanted and it showed he landed extremely powerfully and the way that he split the guard of Overeem every time Overeem would come up he would split the guard with those four ounce gloves with hooks around the defense of Overeem that's the difference in mixed martial arts with those four ounce gloves and K1 with the eight ounce gloves and just mixed martial arts in general has so many different dynamics that it's cool to watch the evolution and watch things uh, happen in the sport I hope you guys have an awesome Sunday. Enjoy the Super Bowl. I think I got to go for Tampa Bay. They're the underdogs. I think Brady's going to pull it off. I'll see you guys on the other side. It was a war. He, I don't remember. I think maybe it was in the second round. He got He got a good hit on me. You know, as far as having streaks and like thinking you deserve something, I learned something in life, man. You don't deserve anything. And uh, even in, in fighting, Max Holloway had 10 fights in a row he won before he got a title shot. I'm not going to sit here and beg. I'm not going to beg for an opponent. I, I'm, I'm over that, you know. I'm going to sit here and say, man, who's next? Everybody's welcome. I felt like same thing. Every round was close. I kept such a high pace and he kept up. My goal was to keep such a high pace that he breaks, but like he, it was the opposite. He kept up. I couldn't believe it. Um, I break people all the time like that and he didn't and so more power to him. Yeah, I, I, I like it. Uh, I remember thinking in the third, I know, I know I'm a little bit slow, but I can do this all day. I'm going to pick this up and, and I did pick it up in the third. I got the takedown, but he reversed me. I got a little lazy. You know, <laughs> I, I prefer to have these longer fights. I learned a lot more and I, I enjoy finishes. Don't get me wrong, but I, uh, something special about a three round fight. Right? What the hell, bro? Why won't he break, man? What's wrong with you? Just, just like give up or something. <laughs> yeah, but you know what you need in this kinds of times? Uh, you need to put your confidence aside and just have gratitude. This is a time of saying thank you. Thank you, God. You gave me talents, and I just want to give it back. I just want to double them, triple them, whatever it may be, and give them back. Confidence is great. You know, talents, whatever. Whatever you have, it, it's, it's God-given. It's not yours. It's, it's going to be taken away someday. It's up to you to add to it. Or, or hide it and eventually lose everything. So I'm, I'm confident, I am, but uh, oh, I'm more than confident, I, I'm, I'm grateful.